how to get around these guys. Them Jim had a lot of monsters too. Not around them. I gotta go through them. Ain't no dodging it. <laughs> like, ain't, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no dodging it. You know what I'm saying? We just gotta, you know, we even gonna go through it or we not. Let's just, let, let me just put it this way. I feel like I'm one of the best niggas that ever did. Period. And so, I went in that building with that mind state, with, with that mindset. Mm. And, you know, I think I came out all right. Def Jam definitely had a lot of monsters. DMX, Jay-Z, but they were more than one dimensional. Ja Rule, you weren't. That's the reason why 50 Cent did you the way that he did. You could only do records for the ladies. You could never really do records for the streets. I mean, you do got the New York song, but that's as far as it goes. Let's be real, you had a whole bunch of pop records, and you know you weren't doing them for the streets. You were doing them for the ladies. Because anything outside of that, you know your career is garbage. That's the reason why you took the loss to 50 Cent and your career went down also. But I ain't taking nothing away from you. You had your run. You made your money. You got your plaques. But you were one dimensional. All about the ladies. And in my opinion, in order to be one of the greats, you need to be more than one dimensional. Not just speaking to the ladies, but speaking to the streets. So you ran through Def Jam with women records that went pop. Not universal records that went pop. So again, you did your thing. And I know the ladies love you for it. Like, subscribe, and share. Real talk, real shit. The podcast.